Hi everybody. I want to call attention to the new um, 101 year history book of the Poetry Society of South Carolina. It's the longest continuous poetry society in the country and it has been uh, chronicled by Jim Lundy who's the president of the Poetry Society of South Carolina. It's taken him a long time to write this and he says there's all kinds of uh, scandal in it, some embezzlement, gossip. It does not read like an encyclopedia. It reads like a story but listen to these authors that the Poetry Society has hosted. Carl Sandburg, Edna St. Vincent Belay, Robert Penn Warren, Ogden Nash, Nash Robert Frost, um, Jericho Brown, uh, Charles, who's the Pinsky? Uh, Robert, Robert Pinsky, Pinsky. Uh, Alan Tate. And I think that's pretty phenomenal lineup. It is not expensive. I think it's $50 to join the Poetry Society. And this book, paperback is $22. You can get a hardback copy. And I am on page 321 in the back as the first blind poet to ever have read for the Society in 101 years. And I appreciate Jim putting that in there. And then he's listed my book, An Eclipse and a Butcher. So introducing you to this wonderful book, if you like poetry in South Carolina. Hi everyone, I just wanted to call your attention real quick. Look at the size of this book. This is a lot of work and the cover is handsome. And I want to tell you about it. It runs 350 pages, something like that. And it has, it's divided into four parts, uh, like the Genesis, the Resurgence, the, um, the atomic age, the modern era, and there are two more in there, but that'll give you an idea of how it's broken up. And I like that he titled the, the parts. I was seeing that more in poetry and in books, titling the chapters. But um, I really recommend this book, and I'm getting it in a digital form. I belong to Bookshare, which will convert the text to a digital form so that I can listen to it. All right, I really highly recommend this book.